Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we're looking at Azure Container Instances, also known as ACI, and this allows you to package, deploy, and manage cloud applications using containers, or the way I like to think of it as fully managed Docker as a service. Azure Container Instances allow you to launch containers without the need to worry about configuring or managing the underlying virtual machines, and you're going to be able to design isolated containers for simple applications, task automations, and build jobs. Let's talk about some of the uh, reasons why you'd want to use containers over VMs. So containers can be provisioned within seconds, where VMs will take several minutes. Containers are built per second, where VMs are built per hour, so you'll save a lot more money. Containers have granular uh, uh, and custom sizing of VPC uh, VPCUs, memory, and GPUs, where VM sizes are predetermined. Uh, so those are the benefits between containers and VMs. Uh, ACIs can uh, be utilized for both Windows and Linux containers. You can persist storage with Azure files using ACI containers. And honestly, if you have containers or functions, you have to have an external storage mounted to persist. Uh, it's just the way you do it. Uh, ACIs are accessed via fully qualified domain names, which is one of the things I really appreciate about Azure services because most of the services are like that. Uh, Azure provides quick start images to help you start uh, launching example apps, but you can also source containers from Azure Container Registry, Docker Hub, and privately hosted container registries. It looks like that, the choice option there. Let's just talk about container groups because this is pretty much the only major component you have to worry about. These are a collection of containers that get uh, that get scheduled on the same host, and the containers uh, the containers in a container group share lifecycle resources, local network storage volumes. So the idea is that you have these tightly coupled containers, so all of them act as a service within that container group. Uh, so here you can see an example of a couple containers that are mounting Azure files on different directories there. And underneath all of that is running on an Azure virtual machine. Container groups are similar to Kubernetes pods. Yeah, and it says similar to, but not really the same thing. Multi-container groups can concurrently support only Linux containers, which is kind of a bummer, but that's just what it is. And there are two ways to deploy a multi-container group. You can use ARM templates when you need to deploy additional Azure service resources, or just a YAML file when you want to deploy, uh, when your deployment only includes container instances.